Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I want to show you an alternate way to wire up your solar ammo can. So in a previous video, I showed you how to build the solar ammo can, which is basically a box with a battery, a solar charge controller, a couple of uh, switches and outputs like a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and a whole bunch of uh, USB connections. So it's really handy whether you're going out camping or if you have a minor power outage. I don't know if it's quite zombie apocalypse ready, but it's a, it's a great little project. Um, but I did get a couple of questions from some people watching this and that was mainly about um, a battery disconnect or some way to disconnect the whole thing from the battery when you're not using it. And I apologize if I didn't make this more clear in the previous video. So what I've always just done is I designed this with Velcro so that the whole thing can just pop right off the top here. And then there's very easy access to the battery terminals. So I just set it up so that what I would do is simply unplug the main 12 volt positive wire, the, the big red wire, uh, just pull it right off the battery terminal. Um, otherwise, another way to go is simply to pull the main fuse and everything's completely disconnected. So why would we even want to do that though? Well, there's a problem with battery chargers that a lot of different types of battery chargers, if they're connected to a battery, but they're not actually powered up, they're not uh, charging the battery, they can actually be a drain on the battery. And that covers everything from cheap little uh, Harbor Freight 12 volt battery chargers to even a solar charge controller. Because keep in mind, this does have a display on it and there's some electronics inside. So ironically, this device has a low voltage disconnect. So if you have something plugged into the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, uh, this will actually disconnect the load from the battery if the voltage gets too low, but the solar charge controller itself can actually be a slow drain on the battery. So if you just left this all connected, put it in storage over the winter, um, you can actually kill the battery. This can actually drain it too far. So uh, for people who don't wanna have to pull out the fuse or disconnect the red wire, I thought, aha, let's just make a battery disconnect switch using what we already have here. So keep in mind that the switch that's on this quad display uh, was originally laid out, so it just turns this stuff on and off, this auxiliary voltmeter, our 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, and our additional two USB connections that are right here. Well, what we can do is instead of turning all that on and off, we can use the switch as our main battery disconnect. So to do that, we're still going to be using our fuse holder. On the one end, we're going to have our female spade crimp on connection. That's gonna go straight to the battery, the 12 volt positive. And then on the other end of that, it's going to go to the middle connector on the switch. And then the switched output from the switch is going to go up to here to the battery plus terminal on the solar charge controller. Now, the other change that we have to make is going out to all the other components except the switch is now our red, um, uh, the load output. So represented here with the little light bulb and the plus, that red wire is going to go out to um, our cigarette lighter plug, our USB connections, our, um, our voltmeter display down here, and also our 12 volt. Uh, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna quick wire it up just like that and hook it up and I'll show you how that all works. So I've made that change to the wiring. So our main fuse and that positive connection runs up to the input on the switch and that hot switched output goes to the battery positive on the solar charge controller. So with our connections here, what we can do is we're going to plug in our negative and our positive connections down here. And then all the wiring gets tucked in this space over here. And now if I flip the switch on, you'll see everything turns on. The display on the solar charge controller and everything else out here and our 12 volt out. All that's on. If I flip it off, everything's off. All the outputs and the solar charge controller. So now this is basically just a giant master disconnect. So one thing to remember with that though is that when you want to charge with the solar, you do have to remember to 
to make sure it's on. It's not going to be charging up if that is off. The other thing I wanted to show you is I originally um, made up some little spacers like this because if we look inside um, the terminals, the battery terminals coming up, uh, they have, have a little bit of thickness to them. So these spacers just uh, space up our panel uh, above the battery itself. Um, when I originally did this, I used some cardboard over here just to kind of hold up this end of the box. Um, these face plates have been pretty popular though. Um, people asked, so I made them available for sale at 300mpg.org. And if you want to buy one of these face plates, uh, what I'll do is I'll include two of these spacers. That way you can uh, mount one down on top of the battery. But the other one you can take and you can just put it vertical over here. And what that does is that makes it uh, basically just a support point, point for the other end here so that this doesn't wobble around when you're plugging and unplugging the cigarette lighter plug there, for example. And this very simply can be held on by something like a piece of uh, double-sided foam tape. So I'm just gonna take a piece of this double-sided foam tape here, stick this on, pull off the waxed paper backer. Always more <laughs> difficult to do than to say. Um, but then I can just tuck that down inside here stick it right up against the end. And now that just acts as a support for our face plate. So even if I push down pretty hard over here, it's got a backer back there. So the battery supports this end, that little spacer supports this end, it's nice and solid, and we still have room over here for storing our accessories. So that shows you a couple of different ways that we can make sure that we're not accidentally draining the battery when we're not using the solar ammo can. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please just comment or go over to the blog at 300mpg.org. And of course, uh, like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. And until next time, stay charged up.